Hello, this is MakerJ101, and that was a very nice um, little intro there that my friend Thomas made for me, so thanks goes out to um, him for making that. Um, so we're back to the Tesla coil here, um, the double um, secondary there, so, and I'm back to the NPN transistors actually because, well, number one reason, most of my PNPs have burned out, there's only like one or two good ones left on here, so I switched back to the NPNs, and actually I'm having pretty good success with them now. I actually have the cooling fan on right now, but that's actually an AC cooling fan. Um, but anyway, I'm getting pretty good output from it now. Um, I also replaced the ground resistor because the little 1K kind of kept burning up, so couldn't handle enough amps, or couldn't dissipate enough amps. So I'll just turn it on here. We're getting some pretty nice plasma there, about 1 fourth inch probably of plasma. And if we stick this light bulb on here, I found this really cool effect. It actually, the plasma kind of looks like it goes down inside of the coil there, so it's pretty cool. It's kind of, I think I'm going to need a new tube because it's kind of burning up. So, yeah, that's not good. But it still does very nice plasma of all different kinds. And I've also found that if you stick this in this fluorescent tube inside, gets wow, really really bright it's like really bright down there and I can connect the ground on there it gets even brighter and I don't want to leave it down there very long because it gets really hot really fast so let me see yeah it's pretty warm already just after a few seconds so I wouldn't leave it down there very long because I'm kind of afraid it might explode or something I don't know um, here's a nice um, high pressure mercury lamp it glows pretty nice camera's out of focus again but as you can see we're getting some pretty nice arcs there too Let me get my ground lead here and I'm getting some pretty nice little arcs there they're pretty hot too because you can hear them even but that's about a little more than half an inch and it actually makes the um, probe there glow and actually down here I get more amps it will actually burn up the little wire here that I'm using as a probe. But I get a little bit more um, higher voltage off of this here, the second output. But yeah, it works pretty good. Once in a while I've gotten that neon to actually turn on, but if I actually touch this to here it actually stops um, oscillating. I have to restart it and then it will work again. But yeah, that neon doesn't... Once in a while it'll turn on, but not very often. I forget what I had to do before to get it to turn on, but... but yeah, that plastic's kind of burning up there. <laughs> kind of need a new tube, but... Yeah, once it starts conducting it, it keeps burning it up. Alright, so here's a better view of the plasma. So, let me see here. Look at that, so it's really going down inside the um, tube there, or it wants to. And I cut the black stuff off the tube there and it's not conducting anymore, so that's good. Oops. Um, and then I'll just try to demo um, on my piece of glass here that I wanted to cut. So if I take my ground lead and the plasma there, and if I put, make an arc and then start kind of cutting it, There you see, so you can see the glass actually starts conducting the electricity. Whoops, just shut off. Oops. There you go. So you can see it's kind of conducts through the glass, or the arc disappears, and then once it gets through enough, it heats it up and actually expands the glass, I guess and makes it crack. As you can see there's a bunch of little cracks in the glass now. But it's really chopping the glass all up into little pieces there. So yeah, um, that's about it. Um, pretty cool plasma too. As it really goes down inside there. And here's the bulb again, the 
high pressure mercury. So yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.